Next question is what is backpropagation and why it is important in deep learning? So backpropagation is a fundamental and essential part of training of a neural network. It helps you learn from the errors that the model is making in each iteration in order to understand how the change in the certain parameters of the model, such as weight factors and bias factors, uh, will result in a change in the loss function. So the backpropagation algorithm is the middle part of the entire training process. And what I mean here is that we first perform our forward pass. We go through all this transformation when fetting the uh, input data into our network. And then based on these transformations, we then end up with the final output layer and we then can perform our prediction. So we compute the y hat. Once the y hat is computed, we can then compute the loss function or for that one specific iteration after that forward pass. Once we have the loss function, then we can understand how we need to change our weights and our bias factors such that we can make less errors that in the current iteration the model is making. So the errors, the average errors that the model is making, we are measuring it by the loss function. Now then the next step as part of this algorithm, it is to obtain specific amount of change in the loss function when we are making a small change in the weights parameters and in the bias parameters. And this is what we are also referring as gradients. The entire process of computing those gradients is called backpropagation. So backpropagation is basically a fancy way of referring to the process of calculating the first order partial derivative of the loss function with respect to each of our model parameters, including various weight parameters and the bias parameters. So this backpropagation is fundamental because it helps the algorithm to understand how much a change in loss function we will observe if we change each of those different weight parameters. Because th this is the way that we need to uh, supply this information to the optimization algorithm such as GAdam in order for the optimization algorithm to be able to update the model parameter. So uh, basically the output of the backprop is the input for the optimization algorithm such as GD, SGD, Adam, etc. So if we look at the specific example that we have looked into as part of the previous questions, we saw this uh, very simple neural network where we had a small amount of hidden layers and small amount of hidden units, and we had just a couple of input signals. So as part of the forward pass, we then perform all the transformations, we have activated the neurons, and then we end up with this y hat, which is the prediction of the response variable. So once we have the y hat, then we also have cached our final uh, values for our z scores. So the z scores were equal to the x multiplied by the weight parameters plus the bias parameters. So once we have this, then we can apply uh, various differentiation rules, specifically the change rule, but also we can make use of the differentiation rule of the summations and add one applied to the constant in order to update the gradients of the loss function with respect to the activation, so the dA. And then we can use this in order to obtain the gradients of the loss function with respect to the z. And then we can make use of this dA and then dz to obtain the gradients of the loss function with respect to the weight, so that is dV. And then finally, in a similar way, we can make use of dA and dz in order to obtain the gradients of the loss function with respect to the beats, so our bias factors. What is important here is to keep in mind, without going too much into details of mathematical derivations, that in order to update uh, the model parameters, we need to know the uh, gradients of the loss function with respect to the weight parameters, so dV, as well as the gradients of the bias factors, which is the first order partial derivative of the loss function with respect to the B, so the bias factors. But then in order to compute the dV and the dB mathematically, we also need to first compute 
the gradients of the activations and the gradients of the uh, the uh, z-scores and the reason for that is because the the weight factors and the bias factors they are part of the z-scores so we have this chain of transformation to be applied which means that when we are performing differentiation we then also need to perform this chain of differentiations in order to be able to obtain the gradients of the weights and gradients of the bias factors in the first place which means that first we need to unpack what is the gradients of the activations then we need to understand what is the gradients of the z-scores we need to then use this applying the chain rule in order to obtain this dv as you can see here z is equal to w multiplied with the activations a plus b to be more specific the transpose of the weight matrix multiplied with the activations matrix then we are adding the bias vectors which forms our z's and then to compute the gradients of the loss function with respect to the weight so dv we first need to take the partial derivative of the loss function j with respect to the z scores and then we need to multiply with the partial derivative of the z scores with respect to the weight matrix in order to be able to compute this partial derivative dv and then uh, this is simply equal to the dz multiplied by the transpose of the activations matrix. And something similar we are also performing for obtaining the gradients of the bias vectors. I will not go too much into detail of the mathematical derivations. I will not go too much into details of the mathematical derivations of this gradients because you will need to dive deep into this various partial derivatives. We need to also refresh our memory when it comes to using chain rules, the differentiation rules when it comes to the sum of the values, when it comes to a constant multiplied with the target value. And those are things that I would definitely recommend you to refresh when you are going through deep learning topics. But just to say in the scope of the interview question, I just wanted to share this just to refresh your memory that um, in every time when we are trying to optimize the algorithm, in every step we are performing backpropagation, which includes calculating all these various gradients. And in order to compute the gradient with respect to the weights and the gradient with respect to the bias factors, we first also need to calculate the gradients with respect to activations and the gradients with respect to the z-scores in order to then use them to calculate the gradients of the weights and the gradients of the bias factors. And then to finalize this, the backpropagation is simply this process of computing the uh, partial derivative of the loss function with respect to the weights and with respect to the bias factors in order to supply them this as an input for our optimization algorithm, which is actually our next question.